the car chase is a car chase and all you can do is think of new gags. It really doesn't affect the photography at all. The thing about action photography is coverage. The more coverage you have, the more exciting you can get it. And car chases, you know, everyone finds car chases very exciting, but they're not hard to shoot. The more times you can cut and change to another shot, the better it looks. So what you, it's multiple, everything should be multiple cameras. So four or five cameras all the time. Most important thing is telling the story of what the car chase is about and why they're chasing. So you've got to know that you can you know, deal with dialogue inside the car. James, is it really necessary to drive quite so fast? More often than you'd think. Uh, close up of the gear stick being shifted, close up of the button being pushed, you know, which fires the rockets, the close up of the rockets coming out. So all that you have to take on board and say we need an angle for that, we need an angle for this, we need an angle for that, we need an angle for this. So you build up a sequence. And very often, um, with Martin's case, we put a storyboard together. Uh, so we can all agree uh, on the angles we need and then some of that may be given to second unit uh, which is, doesn't involve the actors and then we will come in and take over with the actors and then insert them into the sequence. Well basically what you do is you work out a storyline. How does he get the tank? When he's got the tank, what does he do? In GoldenEye he's chasing uh, the baddie who has the girl. So now we know what's, what's up. So he has to find a way of getting at the guy, and he's got a gun on the tank. So you've got to show that there's a possibility this gun could be used. And the people he's chasing should learn that. And now to show more threat, is you make the, the tank do things that look threatening, which is run over police cars, knock holes in walls, and stuff like that. So that, that, then that all gives you added excitement, but it also tells you the story that this tank is a dangerous thing. If he ever gets to where he's going, it's going to be really dangerous. So once you've got all those story elements, you build that as a series of storyboard shots. Because you can't, we couldn't knock down buildings in Russia. So half of it is in Russia and half of it is uh, on the, uh, the runway at uh, Leveson uh, Aerodrome, which became Leveson Studios. So you had to work out which bits were where and who shoots which bits. And the most complicated stunt part of it has to be done by second unit because it takes too long to get it set up. And then we as the main unit work out in what parts of the action we're injecting shots of the actors, the stars of the show. What should they look like and where are they and where do we shoot those and where do they fit into the storyline. So that way you then build the whole thing, its passageway through Russia, through the back lot, back onto Russia and back onto the back lot again. So you build up all these patterns. And because it's complex, you storyboard it so that you know exactly where, you're, where you are at any particular moment. What you do is you work out how many cars you think it's gonna take. So you have them on standby. You also have people who can repair cars uh, in case something doesn't work but it's made a dent. So you need to get that dent out. Uh, so you, you plan all of that. So you have a series of mechanics all standing by to help you out. Uh, in terms of the uh, Casino Royale and the car rolling over, uh, I had nothing to do with it. It's all second unit because it's complicated to do that. They spent all night getting the car to turn over because the Aston Martin is constructed so it holds the road, so it's very hard to turn it over. You know, it's not made to turn over. So what they had to do eventually, after having three goes at it and not succeeding, they had to uh, take one of the seats out and put an air ram in and fire the air ram to turn the car over. And it happened to spin seven times, which was a world record, apparently. And you got five cameras running on it. What works for Bond, if you analyze it, is that he doesn't care about the surroundings. He only cares about his mission. His mission is to get that man. He doesn't care about the car doesn't care about buildings, he doesn't care about anything else, it's that man he's got to get. So if it destroys a car in the process, that's no skin off his nose.